Now at six, a man accuses a police lieutenant of stalking him by circling his neighborhood and parking in front of his home out of his jurisdiction while on duty. I was threatened. I mean, and even my family, my neighbors, everybody now is like looking out their window just trying to see if they see that this cops driving by again. He believes it's a scare tactic in retaliation for taking that police department to federal court. It's a story you saw first on four. And that man has filed a motion in court to try to stop all city of Sweetwater police officers from contacting him. He says this is the latest in a series of harassing run-ins that he's had with the department. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya has more. A dashboard camera recorded an unmarked Sweetwater police SUV cruising through a neighborhood and stopping in front of a home, even motioning the driver behind him to pass him as he sits outside the house. That sounds like a normal day on the job for a Sweetwater officer, but this isn't Sweetwater. It's Miami-Dade County, and this house belongs to George Del Rio, who is suing the city of Sweetwater in federal court. This dash cam video was shot one day before a major court hearing in the case. I haven't been able to sleep ever since this situation. Attorney Rick Diaz says the lieutenant was sending a message. Well, I call it harassment. I call it intimidation. Um, I call it stalking. Um, there's no reason for this officer to, to be outside of his jurisdiction. The city confirms Marcos Villanueva, seen here being sworn in as lieutenant, was driving the SUV that Del Rio recorded. And Lieutenant Villanueva was on duty at the time. Del Rio says he called Miami-Dade police to check out the SUV, but that someone canceled the call without explanation. I thought that after I filed the lawsuit that I was kind of like protected from them doing anything to me. Del Rio, who works as a private investigator, says he filed the lawsuit against the city and several police employees back in 2012 when he says police arrested him without cause and held him with no charges for hours. They kept me at the police station for 16 hours, no bathroom, no food, no nothing. Named in Del Rio's lawsuit are Sweetwater Lieutenant Ignacio Menacal, former chief Roberto Foguera, suspended officer Octavio Oliu, who was charged with using a fake license plate to avoid paying tolls, former officer Willie Garcia, who was convicted of identity theft and credit card fraud, and former mayor Manny Maroño, who's in a federal lockup for conspiracy to commit wire fraud. I think that there's a, unfortunately, a very systematic problem. The attorney representing the city would not comment on the allegations, but says Del Rio's motion to forbid officers from contacting him holds no weight. Mr. Del Rio and his lawyer certainly are not entitled to the relief they seek based upon what they filed. Uh, and I think that it was designed for one reason, and that's to get the media's attention. Del Rio is now waiting on the judge to rule on his motion to ask the city of Sweetwater Police Department to leave him alone. And the attorney for the city says the judge is also considering a motion to dismiss Del Rio's lawsuit altogether. We'll have to wait and see what the judge decides. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News.